this gives me a headache every time somebody says it, but hydrogen is not the future of vehicles. It's also not gas, it's electric. And it's always been electric. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly why that's the case. And if you disagree, I encourage you to please listen to the points in this video and tell me exactly why I'm wrong. But okay, so all power on Earth comes from one of two sources, the sun or geothermal energy. Everything else is a second or third order effect of one of these sources. It's kind of similar to how eating meat is inefficient because it takes approximately 25 calories of animal feed to produce one calorie of meat. As you move up the food chain away from the primary source of energy, which again here is the sun, there is energy loss. That's essentially why we have way more deer than we have mountain lions. And by extension, fossil fuels are just solar energy with extra steps. Over millions of years, countless microbes converted solar energy into biomass. This got preserved and ultimately acted as as a type of battery that we now tap into. So okay, gas cars are just solar powered cars with extra steps. But what about hydrogen? After all, the sun is made of hydrogen and that is the source of all this energy we're talking about. But the thing people miss about hydrogen vehicles is that this is just an electric car with extra steps. And you guessed it, that results in energy loss and inefficiency. And to briefly explain this, the only way to generate clean hydrogen is a process called electrolysis, where you separate H2O, water, into hydrogen and oxygen. This requires a lot of electricity. But then once you have the hydrogen, you take it and you put it into a fuel cell where ultimately it is recombined with oxygen to make water again and release energy. This release of energy is what powers the electric motors on a hydrogen powered vehicle. So you can see why hydrogen vehicles are just electric vehicles with extra steps. But the worst part is with converting water to hydrogen and back to water, you only get about 25% of the original energy put into the reaction back out. So it is always more efficient to just take the initial electricity and use it to directly spin electric motors or put it into a battery to use later. Now, the next thing people point to is this chart, which shows electricity generation by source. They claim that electric cars are pointless because some of the electricity is generated via fossil fuels. But the beautiful thing here is that all electricity is the same, no matter how it is generated. So yes, right now on average in the US, 60% of the energy you put into an electric vehicle is fossil fuel based. But 19% is nuclear power, 7 hydro, 11% is from wind, and so on. And as the grid becomes greener, regardless if the power comes from solar or if nuclear power makes a comeback, your existing EV can take full advantage of this power and the shifting sources. In just a few years, the power grid is going to be about half renewable, making your EV only 50% fossil fuel based. But a gas car is always going to be 100% reliant on fossil fuels. So that's my take on this whole situation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I hope to see you guys in the next one.